Now on GMA, our cover story and the latest on the passing of author Julie Powell at just 49 years old. The writer behind the hit memoir turned movie Julie and Julia reportedly died from cardiac arrest. But questions are being raised about some of her final tweets. Rihanna Nally has the details for us. This morning, new questions in the death of popular food writer and blogger Julie Powell, known for her book and film, Julie and Julia. Oh, Julia, you make it sound so simple. Based on a true story, Julie, played by Amy Adams, aspires to cook all 524 recipes in Julia Child's cookbook in under a year and blog about it. Meryl Streep nominated for an Oscar for her portrayal of Julia Child. Oh. Never apologize. Powell died last week at age 49 from an apparent cardiac arrest. More than 300,000 people die of cardiac arrest each year in the U.S. But in the hours since announcing her death, fans of the author now wondering about the state of her health in recent months and whether it could have contributed to her demise. Pointing to Powell's tweet about her experience with COVID on September 10th, writing, decided to take a nap and woke up sick like a dog. This is how the COVID hits, I guess. While she said she was over COVID on September 19th, in mid-October, she reported feeling flu-like symptoms with a high fever. Her final tweet, just a day before she died on October 26th, revealing she had a temporary condition called black hairy tongue, which does not signal a major health concern, writing, people, including my doctor, seem to think it's no big deal and it will go away soon, but it certainly is gross. Powell's publisher telling ABC News, Powell was a brilliant writer and a daring, original person, and she will not be forgotten. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. And joining us now is ABC News medical contributor, Dr. Darian Sutton. There have been so many questions that have been brought up through her tweets and a lot of, first of all, her heart goes out to her family and friends with the passing. Um, the, the, what are her last tweets about the black tongue? Yes. Is that any connection to, to COVID? I don't think so. You know, the diagnosis of a black hairy tongue is actually a re relatively benign diagnosis that can be due to a variety of different things, including things such as excessive coffee or black tea consumption, um, even associated to alcohol or smoking dependence. It can even even be a symptom of dehydration and a side effect of certain medications. So there's no reason to believe that those two are connected. Okay. Um, we do not know her medical history. We want to put that out there. Uh, other than what she um, relayed in her tweets, which people are really looking into, and yes. the fact that she had COVID recently, and people are now wondering, is there any connection, Dr. Sutton, to COVID and cardiac arrest. You know, there is a connection. And what I will say is that what we know is that, as you said, she, was, she died of a cardiac arrest, but that's a relatively broad term. It simply means that the heart has stopped functioning. And there's no evidence to show that her recent diagnosis of COVID was associated with her death. But I think the reason why people speculate about mm -hmm. this is because we know that there is an association between COVID-19 and an increased risk of certain conditions that can cause cardiac arrest. For example, there's an increased risk of heart attack, almost twice as likely for COVID patients. There's an increased risk of abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias that are five times as likely, and there's an increased risk of blood clots, which are 14 times as likely. Mm. But again, to reiterate, we don't know her personal situation. And we want to reiterate that. So what are some other causes for cardiac arrest? Well, the primary cause is simply heart disease. And it's an important moment to remind everyone that heart disease is the number one killer of women within this country. And unfortunately for cardiac arrest, there are no real symptoms. It's often a sudden, a sudden loss of consciousness. So if you witness someone who has a sudden loss of consciousness, call 911, and if you know CPR, please start it and if you don't know you can be um, uh, trained by the operator in that moment in time mm -hmm. can save a life absolutely all right dr. Darian Sutton thank you very much well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA